Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we're back out on the laser today. Uh, we've been interested in doing some canvas uh, etching uh, with different colors paint and things. So uh, we took the time, painted out a few different test pieces, uh, did all of the etch on that in just uh, testing with grayscale, dither, uh, different percentages. And let's get into that video and we'll explain what we did. Just painting. Uh, we were trying different colors, yeah. um, different blends, just to see how they look. Okay, this paint is a Rust-Oleum 2X uh, paint and primer, gloss finish. Uh, this is what we used, uh, at least two coats, and then uh, black over the top of that. And actually, after we did the etching, we probably could have put it on a little bit thicker yeah. than uh, we thought so. Here's a little clip of the first light burn um, program we ran. Uh, the reason this one's different than the rest of them is because we actually ran different speeds to see how it all turned out. So we've got a 1,000, 2,000, 2,500, and 3,000 millimeters per minute. The 3,000 by far looked the best. So that is ending up what we did on all of the rest of them, just the 3,000. We didn't want to do all the rest of them on that as well. Now I do have the air assist turned on for this, uh, so I didn't do one without an air assist. I've got it, I just used it. Uh, you can also see the uh, vac pulling air out of it. what it looks like finished. I just took this little foam brush, wiped off the extra soot. So like I said earlier, we did drop out everything but the 3,000 millimeters a minute. It is the one that looked by far the best. You can see it's just cleanest, it's got the best gradient, and that's the only one we're going to use from now on. So here back in light burn, um, Cut out the other ones, made this one bigger so we can get a better look at what it's going to look like on the finished canvas.
in the interest of time, we only filmed uh, one being lasered, and so here's all of them, what they look like. This one, the first layer is green, and then half of it's blue and half of it's pink. Uh, you can see we need some more of the colors on there maybe because it's just white and black mostly. Yeah, I think the other layers just weren't quite thick enough and it's hard to tell since it scales all the way across. We just burned all of the blue off immediately. Um, so this one didn't turn out the best, but it still looks good in that 20, 30, 40% range, which is really the sweet spot that we found for everything. Here, this one's just the pink and black. And it looks pretty good. Yep, yep. Like we said, 30% is really that sweet spot. So grayscaling, anything in that color, look great. This one's the pink and green one. So pink over green. This one might be my favorite. Just the straight blue looks awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to have to get something in this color pattern going and grayscale it. I also really like this one, uh, the blue and green together uh, came out really good. Yeah, and you can see how the green on here isn't quite as white as the blue because we only did one coat of that second color. So two coats of that second color and then we'd have a lot more uh, dynamic range in there and uh, we'll definitely test that out as well. So thanks for coming by. We really look forward to actually making pictures on the canvases. <laughs> yeah, you know, we gotta do the test first, so <laughs> gotta do it. Uh, so like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, thanks. guys.